The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus entered Capernaum, a centurion approached him and appealed to him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, suffering greatly. He said to him, I will come and cure him. The centurion said in reply, Lord, I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Only say the word and my servant will be healed. For I am a man subject to authority with soldiers subjected to me. I say to one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my slave, do this, and he does it. And when Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Amen, I say to you, in no one in Israel have I found such faith. I tell you, many will come from the east and the west and will recline with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob at the banquet in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. It's wonderful how on this um, Monday of the first week of Advent that we also celebrate St. Francis Xavier, Jesuit, who went, you could say, to all the nations, uh, as the prophet Isaiah is speaking about, at the risk of his life to China, to Japan, to Malaysia. He went, he, his traveling was so extensive just for the sake of the gospel. And you could see that there was no prejudice in this man's mind. The gospel was for everyone. And there was, not, there was no one he wanted to keep it from. And so, and you could see Jesus even at work in this. Here is this centurion. He is an, an officer in the army that occupies his country. An army that has hurt many people and tried to squelch their faith. And he sees faith in this man. And he offers to go personally to his home. And the humility of this man is, is seen by the fact that he says the same thing we say before receiving communion. I'm not worthy that you should come under my roof. Say the word and my servant will be healed. And so he is. It makes us consider today as we begin Advent that it's time to put away maybe judgments or prejudices or grudges, things that might be stopping us from having a wholesome relationship with people and I don't think we have to look so much to other nations for all this, but sometimes we can alienate ourselves from each other simply by the issues we hold on to in our relationships. The, the vision of Isaiah talking about they shall beat their swords into plowshares, it really, it really speaks powerfully about sometimes what our grudges or unforgiveness can be like literally swords and their challenge to be beaten into plowshares. In other words, to craft new and fruitful relationships with people, turning spears into pruning hooks for bearing more fruit instead of doing violence. It would be good to look at unreconciled relationships during this time of Advent so that we can be at peace with the Prince of Peace. It's, it's a, it makes you wonder who is forbidden to go to the manger. The answer is no one. So who would we be 
to forbid. Regina Jenny, let her reign.